The Chutia Kingdom, pronounced Sutia Kutia in Assamese 1187-1673, also known as Chutia, Sutia or Sadia, was a state established by one of the Chutia chieftains named Birpal in 1187 CE in the areas comprising the present-day Indian states of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Birpal was one of the numerous Chutia chieftains, Rajas who ruled Upper Assam and Arunachal and initially ruled parts of present-day Arunachal Pradesh. Over the years he and his successors united all the hill and plain Chutia kings of Assam as well as Arunachal Pradesh to form the Greater Chutia Kingdom after the fall of Pala dominance. It was the largest kingdom in Assam after the fall of Kamrupa and before the rise of Ahom Kingdom. The kingdom absorbed the ancient Pala dynasty of Kamarupa and reigned for over 400 years in eastern Assam and Arunachal Pradesh with its capital at Sadia and Ratnapur. It became the dominant power in eastern Assam in the 12th century and remained so until the 16th century with its domain from Parshuram Kund in the east to Visvanath in the west and in the process of its expansion had absorbed many local communities and tribes. It controlled the present Assam districts of Lakimpur, Damaji, Tinsukia, parts of Jorhat, Dibrugar, Sonitpur and East Siang, Sabansiri, Lower Debang, Lohit districts of Arunachal Pradesh. Among the Chutia kings was Gorinarayan Ratnadwajpal, son of Birpal. He brought many other Chutia groups into his kingdom. In 1224, Ratnadwajpal defeated another Chutia king named Bhadrasena, the king of Swedagiri, and conquered the area between Sabansiri and Sisi rivers, i.e. present-day Damaji district. In 1228, he went on another campaign to further expand his kingdom and subjugate the Chutia king Nyayapal ruling the areas between Biswanath and Sabansiri, i.e. present-day Biswanath and Lakimpur districts and marched toward Kamatapur, where he formed an alliance with the Kamata ruler by marrying a princess. Then he marched to Dhaka, and made friends with the Gauta ruler. The hostilities with the Ahams began when the Chutia kingdom expanded to the south during which the Ahom king, Suchfa, was killed by the Chutia king during a friendly negotiation. This conflict triggered a number of battles between the two sides which saw great loss of men and money. The simmering dispute often flared till 1524 when the Ahams struck the Chutia kingdom at its weakest state, took Sadia and killed the then king, Nityapal. The Ahams established their rule by instituting the position of Sadiaho Agohan, a newly constituted position of frontier governor in charge of Sadia. But the Chutia had dispersed to frontier regions, and continued raids against the Ahams. It finally ended in 1673 when they fell under the domination of the Ahams. History Chutia Buyan chieftains Buyans were chiefs of North Indian settlers who migrated to Assam in two separate groups once during the Malecha rule of 9th century and again during the Kamadapur rule in the 14th century. They were given land in central Assam by the indigenous Malecha and Kamadapur kings in order to promote Sanskritization in Assam. The first group were called the Bor Buyans. The Borbuyans settled in the region west of the Chutia Kingdom i.e. parts of the present-day districts of Daring and Sonitpur. The Buyan status at that time was open to royals of any ethnicity and the rule was a confederation type, due to which many Chutia chieftains of Sonitpur and Lakimpur districts also adopted the title. These were known as the Chutia Buyans who ruled as sovereign states until Gorinarayan brought them under the Greater Chutia Kingdom in the early 13th century. Foundation The founder of the medieval Greater Chutia Kingdom was Birpal who claimed descent from the legendary Bishmak and reigned in 1187. He ruled over 60 clans with his capital on a hill called Swarnagiri and assumed the title of Gayapal. He was succeeded by his son Sonagiri assuming the title of Gorinarayan. Gorinarayan alias Ratnadwajpal was one of the most powerful Sutia kings. He brought under his sway the tribes of neighboring mountains, the Rangalgiri, the Kalgiri, the Nilgiri, the Chandragiri, and the Davalgiri. He conquered the whole northeastern region of Assam which included the areas of present-day Arunachal Pradesh and assumed the title, Lord of Hills. In the year 1224, with a large army, he descended on the valley of Brahmaputra, attacking and deporting another Chutia king, Bhadrasena, ruler of the Swedagiri. 
In the expedition he gained rich booty and many prisoners of war belonging to the Brahmin, Tanti, Sanari, Sutar and Kumar classes and settled them in various parts of the kingdom. He built his capital at Ratnapur Majuli, hence also called Ratnadwajpal and used certain techniques to advance the agricultural system in the kingdom. The neighboring Chutia king, Nyaya Pal surrendered with costly gifts even before he was attacked. To cement the alliance, he married the daughter of Nyayapal. He built a line of forts along the foot of the bills against inroads by the hill tribes and built large tanks and temples for his people. In Kamadapur, when Kamadaswar refused his daughter for one of Gorinarayan's sons, the king marched against him, constructing a road with forts at certain intervals. Alarmed at the energy displayed by his troops, Kamadaswar agreed to give one of the princesses in marriage to the Sutia prince. These expeditions by Gorinarayan took Chutia kingdom to supremacy to such an extent that after a few years the impact of his power was felt even by the Gauta ruler. The Gauta ruler, possibly Khesav Sen, made friends with Gorinarayan who sent one of his sons to that country to be educated. Unfortunately, the Sutia prince died there and the corpse was sent to Gorinarayan, who was then engaged in building a new city. He named the city as Sadia saw corpse, Dia given, which later on became the capital of the Chutia kingdom. Extensive remains of buildings and fortifications built during the rule of the Sutias near about Sadia still point to the importance of the region in the past. During the reign of Ahom King Suchfa, there were frequent skirmishes between Ahams and Sutias. In 1376, Suchfa was killed by the Sudia king Jayadwajpal during a friendly encounter. During following years, both sides were involved in numerous battles. <laughs> Ahom Sutia conflicts 1513 Dirnarayan alias Dharmadwajpal, engaged in many battles with the Ahams. In 1513, in a battle with the Ahams, King Dirnarayan attacked the Ahom kingdom both by land and water. The Ahom were victorious in the battle fought at Dikumak. Later in 1520, the Sutiyas invaded Ahom territory twice. In the second invasion, the Sutiyas killed the Ahom commander and were successful in defeating the Ahams in the battle fought at Dying. Downfall The kingdom saw its weakest state under Nityapal, the husband of Dirnarayan daughter Sadani. In 1522, Dirnarayan due to his growing age passed down his throne to Nityapal. The Sudia nobilities and ministers resisted the decision of giving away the throne to Nityapal. In 1524, due to Nityapal incapable rulership, the Ahams taking advantage of this chance, attacked a much weaker Chutia kingdom. As a partial culmination of the inter-kingdom feud, the Ahams took Sadia and killed Nityapal. Further to strengthen their position, the Ahams set up colonies in the Sudia country and a number of Brahmins, blacksmiths and artisans were deported from Sadia to Charadeo. However the Sudias went to the countryside where they were still in power and continued their fight against the Ahams to reclaim their lost territories. The conflict went on for next 150 years until it finally ended in 1673 when the Sudiyas fell under the domination of the Ahams and were absorbed into their state. Topic: <inaudible> Rulers 1187 to 1524. Topic: <inaudible> Geography. <inaudible> 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 The Sutiyas held the areas to the north of Brahmaputra from Parshuram Kund in the east to Visvanat in the west which represents the areas of Damaji district, Lakimpur district and Sanitpur district of present Assam. To the north, it controlled the present Miri Hills, Abor Hills and the Mishmi Hills Rangalgiri, Kalgiri, Nilgiri, Chandragiri, Davalgiri in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. To the south of the Brahmaputra, it had parts of Dibrugarh district and almost the entire Tinsukia district under its rule. Monuments The Chutia rulers were involved in building forts, temples and palaces during their rule. However, most of these monuments have disappeared in the heart of the river Brahmaputra during the 1950 Assam-Tibet earthquake and the remaining are now in dilapidated state as no initiative has taken place to conserve them. 
One of the known monuments built by the Chutias was the Tamraswari Temple in Sadia. Ruins of an ancient town are found between the river Dal and Gagar to 8 km east of present town of North Lakimpur. A Sudia king built the town during the 14th and 15th century, which was deserted or destroyed by natural calamity like earthquake or flood. Other monuments which flourished during the Sudia reign is Bismarcknagar, located 25 km from Rowing, Malanethan Temple near Lykabali in North Lakimpur, Ida Fort in Arunachal Pradesh, and Garakiathan, located at Salahan Sanawal Kachari village, are other prominent monuments built during the Sudia rule. Existing and known monuments Gomsi Magnawa Temple <laughs>